Shane asked the question, what happens to a computer or phone when it's infected by malware? There are many things that can happen, but the hacker's main objective is to gain some level of control over your device. For example, a remote access trojan can be placed on your device that gives the hacker the same level of control over your device as you have. That is what Jeff placed on Squirrel Girl's phone, which allowed him to place a program on her phone to record all of her phone calls. She found a bunch of files on her phone with recorded conversations, which she removed. Most of the time hackers will place a keylogger on your device so they can record all of your keystrokes. That gives them the ability to steal all of your passwords, since it records every key you push, thus recording everything you type. That explains how Jeff was not only able to hack into people's bank and PayPal accounts, but to hack their social media as well. Keyloggers are the most popular tool used by hackers, with the express purpose of getting into your financial accounts and stealing your money. That's why it's so important to have really good security software on your computer and also to run a couple of scans each week. Also, there are some good security suites such as Kaspersky and Ezit that not only have an antivirus, but also anti-theft and also protection against online attempts to access your device. While these are not cheap, they are considerably cheaper than the amount of money you might lose due to a hacker accessing your bank account. There have been many instances where Jeff has stolen amounts up to $500 from people but he's not the only piece of shit who is out there. Also, it is estimated that 94% of malware is spread through email. So don't ever click on anything in an email unless it's something you are very familiar with and know is safe. Even if it's from a friend, do not click on anything. Rather, just delete the email. Many times emails are forwarded from friends or family that contain some kind of joke or song or picture. Probably 90% of these emails that are forwarded contain malware. The email may contain something funny or it may look cute, but again, there's a 90% chance it's infected with malware. So, never click on anything in an email. Like I said, just delete it entirely. Also, stay away from websites you're not familiar with. There are many web pages that are infected with malicious scripts that can run just like opening a program on your device. It can easily infect your device and give the hacker immediate access. That's why the petty little bitch Jeffy Poe makes you click a link to watch his videos. The link contains a script that allows him access to your computer. Jeff may have hung himself though. He hacked a woman's computer, then purchased some items with money from her account. However, he had the items mailed so himself, so he's pretty much screwed. Bye bye Jeffy Poo.